How's it going everybody? Uh, my good buddy uh, Engineer775 did a video the other day and he was trying to show you guys uh, the current draw and the shading of a solar pump and really the reactivity of a panel and uh, I got a great visual and kind of audible that I can show you of, of that same thing. Uh, this is my Dankoff solar pump and I'm using this for my pond to do a recirculation because uh, it leaks really bad and I'm trying to save as much water as I can. So basically, my Dankoff pump is over there. Show them. Okay, over there is our Dankoff sun-centric pump, and it's pumping water back up into the other pond, and uh, it's powered by these three panels right here. And each of these panels is in parallel. So they're all hooked positives and negatives together. Um, it's running about 32 volts to the pump, and it's really, really reactive that when we cover a solar panel, we can hear the difference of the pumping speed. Um, and so if we come around here to the back, walk over here. I got my camera girl helping me today. <laughs> <laughs> all of the panels are wired in parallel going into the combiner where they're all fused and protected. Um, I can shut everything off here or I have a, a manual blade disconnect that I can turn everything off at the pump because I don't run it all the time. Sometimes I want to turn it off and use ball valves. Uh, I can send it like three different ways right now. It's really turned out to be a neat thing, and I'm going to eventually use it to uh, water cattle, some goats, if, if we can get time to have them. So uh, let me walk over there, and we'll start the system up, and I'll show you what it can do. All right, here we are. So I just walked over to the dock, and uh, you can see in here, uh, this is my Dankoff Suncentric. This is a DC dir direct drive pump. This doesn't have any linear current boosters or... I uh, don't have any controllers or nothing. This thing just, when the sun comes up, it starts pumping and it starts spinning faster and faster till it hits its peak power. And then as the sun goes down and starts dropping, it just slows down and then it goes to a non-pumping state. So I built a really cool intake to kind of do some future stuff right here. Uh, it really turned out cool. I got some valves that I can take and switch the direction and do like a recirculating thing. Uh, I picked up also a pond skimmer or a pool skimmer that I'm going to try to make into a pond skimmer. I really want to learn some other stuff and see how I can do filtration on my pond and uh, kind of set it up to do an aquaponics floating little organic thing out here later on. So let's plug this bad boy in and see what we get. Oh, well, hold on. Before it gets noisy, let me introduce my, my assistant. This is Kaya, my daughter, and she's going to be uh, our shade provider. And she was also the intro camera girl. So... All right, here we go. So this is just a blade disconnect. Super simple. We're running low voltage DC. Uh, I'm not too worried about arc on this system. It should be pretty safe. The hardest part is not dropping it in the pond. So here we go. We're going to fire this thing up. Okay, so right now I have this thing uh, doing recirculation up to the top pump. So we can't see how much water is going out, but we'll go up there next. So what we're going to do is we're going to have Kai over there. And she's going to start by shading just the bottom panel and see what it does. And we can hear a really a direct audible on the pump and a slowdown in the speed of it. Okay, now try to go to two panels and see what you can do. Okay, now we're going to block two. Now we hear even bigger audible on the pump. So you can see that clouding, uh, shade, anything like that is really a big blocker on it but like with this system because I have more power really than I need going to it it really alleviates some of the strain I typically over panel projects like this um, because I want to be able to get as much as I can for me I'm trying to keep as much water as possible going out my pond to save it going into the other one so I've got this thing over pumped the next step is really to put some batteries with the charge controller I want to be able to pump this thing 24 hours a day and save as much water as I can with this bad boy Okay, now back off of them real quick. All right, man, we can hear a big change in the speed. Now let's go up to the top and let's have her do the same thing and let's see what we can see as a difference of the pumping production. All right, here we are. This is the outlet of the solar pond pump for the recirculator portion. You can see that it's taking and it's pumping water from the lower pond and pushing it back up the hill around and then it just drains back into this pond for right now and keeps it uh, from losing as much water as possible. So we got Kaya over there, and she's blocking one solid panel. Actually, she's got good blockage on two different panels. So we're gonna have her move out of the way and then move the sweater, and then see the change in the output of the pump. 
Okay, just move out of the way. So there you can see, that was a pretty decent increase in the flow of it, just having her move out of the way of the pump. Okay, now move your sweater out. Okay, that's full flow. We didn't see a massive difference in that, but just by unloading the primary panel, we can see that we got quite a bit more water flowing out. I wanna say that with this pump system that I got running right now, I'm probably flowing up here a solid 30 gallons a minute. Um, when I'm downhill or down at the pond and I just have just the recirc on, I've calced it, I'm flowing 33 gallons a minute. I uh, probably got a little bit of loss with the riser pipe, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna bed this all in rock and I'm gonna use this as a water feature. If I'm gonna do what I'm doing, I just like the sound of the water. Uh, I'm putting a little fire pit up here and a little camp spot just so we can hang out during the springtime like this and have a good time. I don't really need to go anywhere to go camping. I just hang out at home and have a good time. So again, I hope you like this little video that we got showing the, the relationship to shading and production off a solar array. Uh, thanks again to my buddy Engineer775 for getting this one going, and I hope this helped out. Have a great day, everybody.